Hey folks, we're out here uh, still training a little bit with Billy the Boxer, and I thought we'd take a moment to talk about collars. Um, a lot of the collars I see when I pick up clients' dogs, they get these pet store collars, and they're made of a nylon material, cheap nylon, and those nylon, um, I guess the material would be attached to plastic buckles. Garbage, straight garbage. When you really need those to work, they're gonna fail on you, meaning your dog's gonna pull really hard, and that plastic buckle is going to break and your dog is off to the races running across the street and uh, bad things can happen. So highly recommend. I'll show you some of the products I recommend. This is a biothane collar. Uh, biothane is a type of material. It's kind of like a wannabe leather. Uh, why I prefer this over leather, at least for my clients' dogs, is there's no maintenance needed. I actually prefer leather for my dogs, but you have to Take care of leather and so i don't want to have to put that on my client so we just get the bio thing looks nice feels nice great material and um this is what we would call a flat collar this is just your basic if you have no other collar you should at least have a flat collar on a dog and put that to the side for a minute next thing i'll show you is what we call a martingale collar this is a martingale is a style of collar and it's the way it works when um when you when you pull on the leash so let me simulate here here it's on the dog you hook it to what we call the live ring and as you notice it'll add a little bit of tension so it's kind of this is like a hybrid between um, a choker chain and a flat leather collar this one is actually made out of leather and a choker chain kind of combined but a martingale style is is what you're seeing here so actually what I'm going to show you next is a pinch collar that's basically a martingale style pinch collar and put this back on her yeah i want to put that on good girl you know we can we've come a long way when i can just put this on without any fighting because you just seen her two days ago me trying to put a collar on forget it forget it but you're doing so good yeah good job all right so now she's hooked to the martingale and let me show you the pinch collar this is kind of an impromptu video so there's different types of pinch collars but this is a herm springer it's the only brand i recommend um, you can see here the hs uh, this orange colored one we call that the live ring now this is like a professional grade uh, pinch collar reason i say that is the way it attaches still the old school method where you take these i guess they'd be teeth and put them in the holes the males into the females boom and the way this works is it's on and you hook up to either the live ring or the dead ring, or you can hook both together. Uh, this gives you about 50% effectiveness of the, of the pinch collar. Or if you hook it to the live ring, you're getting 100% effectiveness, right? I'm doing that pretty hard on myself. It doesn't feel great, but it, you know, it's not gonna kill you. Same with the dog. So we use this because it's considered like power steering. If your car has power steering, power brakes. Um, that's what this is for your dog. We can get away without using this on a dog but just like if you're turning the wheel on a car with no power steering you have to put in more effort so if she's hooked up to only the martingale collar if i needed to make a correction or steer her in a different direction even now look i'm gonna try to pull her off of this <laughs> that took a considerable effort let's try that again this time we'll put on the uh the pinch collar and we'll see how that goes good girl all right so now Pinch collar is on. We're going to do just the pinch collar hooked up by itself, which I never actually really recommend. Um, I almost always double hook the pinch collar, but today we're going to break the rules just for purposes of demonstration. So now she's hooked up solely to the pinch collar. I'm going to pull her off. Need I say more? That was nothing. I was using my fingers. It didn't hurt her. In fact, I'd say that was less traumatic than using all my might to pull her off of the martingale collar. So now the reason I use the martingale collar though is because when we double hook it, come in close for this, when we double hook, all right, let me show you what the double hook is. I have the pinch collar hooked up on the live ring, good girl, and then this is the live ring of the martingale. Now they're double hooked. Look, see, I'm hooked to both. So what that allows me to do is this. If I apply pressure, I'm getting about 90% effectiveness out of that pinch collar yeah you're doing great thank you because the martingale has some give to it again just the martingale by itself it has some give 
So if I double hook, now I can still use the pinch collar. Why I do that is, God forbid, the pinch collar were to fail. And she's running, still got her. That's the only reason we double hook. But don't let it be the, o it's the only reason. It's the reason you must double hook. You must double hook because pinch collars are amazing, but they are prone to failure just based on their design. Um, there's another design that I really like. Uh, I'll show you in another video. Uh, it's still a pinch collar. It's just the way they attach. After a while, these prong collars, as you're, the male ends, as you kind of pinch them to get them into this hole, they can slip out kind of easy. See that slipped out pretty easy? The other thing that can happen is, especially on dogs with more hair, if you put it in wrong, come in close if you can. I'm gonna put this in wrong. See, and I mean, that comes out super easy. So you're in a rush and you were to put this on the wrong way and only have this single hooked and your dog were to pull, now you have nothing. You have a prong collar with no dog attached. So prong collars are amazing. You have to double hook them. The problem with double hooking to a flat collar, I think we discussed it already. Oh my God, I love you. Yes, thank you. The problem with double hooking to a flat collar is, I think we already shown that, showed that, the flat collar doesn't have any give. So you're only getting like maybe 10, 20, 30% effectiveness out of the pinch collar. One last talk, one last point of discussion on the pinch collar. When you put this on, and you're sizing it for your dog. You're doing great, thank you, almost done. Come in close again. This is actually, professional dog trainers are screaming right now. This is way too loose, way too loose. The looser a prong collar is, the more able it is to pop loose on you, right? Because there's this room here for that to happen. So let me go ahead and take a notch out. Let's see how that sizing looks now. Still a little loose, but better. Now, there's less room for this to wiggle, and yet it's still comfortable. I can still get my hands underneath, and I can still kind of twist it a little bit. You, you could potentially go one ring tighter. Let's try it and test fit and see. The other reason we're doing this, aside from eliminating the possibility of this pinch collar popping loose, is same with your brakes we're talking about power steering power brakes when you turn your wheel hang tight sweetie you're doing so good all right i'm gonna hook you up in case you do decide to wild out on me again like yesterday when you turn your wheel your power steering you don't want to turn like half of a turn before your car starts turning when you start to turn you want it to turn same with the brakes when you start to apply brakes you don't want to push down three four five inches before brakes start to be applied same with this i want this to work as soon as i start to pull it and so that's what we have now so she's kind of in between sizes this is almost too tight um and she's going to stay growing because she's a puppy so i could work her on this um tightness it'd probably be ideal if she was like a working dog and super super tough i wouldn't mind working her on that level uh, we're going to go just one size up and the only problem I have with this right now is it's a little more potential for it to pop, pop loose, as you can see. But I'm all right with that because we're double hooked. So double hook is the way. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This is going to be a pretty long YouTube video, I guess. But it will be how to fit e-collar, prong collar, something on your dog. Something to that effect. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll have another prong collar video coming up we'll use a different dog and i'll show you a different style of prong collar that's going to be even better than this one for the uh for the uh i guess the home professional we'll call it for the person that wants to buy one for their dog um this is a great unit here herm spranger this is probably like 20 to 30 dollars on amazon uh, but there's a, a unit that's maybe five dollars more that's a little easier to put on and off so thank you guys for watching we got to thank Billy here for cooperating. <laughs> She's doing really good. Ah! And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Come on, you. Oh, my gosh. She did really good.